Hey Tano and welcome to my very first weapon series review, Alternative Arsenal. So let's take a look at a semi-forgotten but underdog favorite, the Cone. So the Cone was introduced in 15.6 and is Warframe's other auto rapid fire shotgun, only compared to that is of the boar. Its unique mechanic is that it has a spool startup and as the fire rate increases, so does the damage. Each shot yields 12 bullets with a max ammo cost of 4 at max spool with each pellet causing a base damage of 30, with an IPS damage spread of 6, 6, and 18. With an average crit chance of 10%, a good crit damage multiplier of 2, a great status chance of 25%, and a punch through of 1.5 meters. With a full damage fall off of 12 meters, with a minimum damage fall off of 24 meters, so its best use is at close to medium range encounters. So the crit chance is average, the status is decent, and the fall off is typical for a shotgun and the punch through is a plus, so obviously this is more suited for a status build. So why do I like the weapon? Well, it's real simple, it has the feel of a Bratton and the pelt spread of a shotgun, duh. But out of the family of shotgun primaries, it does fall in the lower echelon of them. To be honest, I treat this weapon like a weird auto-fire split-chambered rifle. But it's definitely far from the worst. The weapon makes up for its gradual high rate of fire when modded for fire rate, the damage and procking can build really fast, especially if running with a corrosive build. It can take down level 100 enemies fairly fast. So the builds I want to show I made were for fire rate and crit corrosive builds. And the third build, which is usually a faction build, but in this case it can always be swappable to any according elements to that enemy faction, such as corrosive, magnetic, and so forth. So this is my main loadout, which is a crit and corrosive build. This is a 4 formal comb. But you don't need to form it this many times. I use it as a general and quick and go build. It does fairly well in game. Now, if you do not have the prime version of these mods, you could still use the normal counterparts of them. And as well as for the ribbon, you can swap out that for a mod that can reflect one of the stats, preferably crit damage, but that's up to you. As you can see, it does pretty well against normal level 100 units. So here's a test of the fire rate build. This build is just purely a fun one. It's just to see how fast I can get the fire rate going. It's not bad either once the procs kick in. As you can see, it still takes down the units fast at the expense of more ammo, but it's just so fun seeing all those numbers fly off the handle, to be honest. So there you go, the point of these builds and reviews are not to showcase how powerful these weapons can be, but to explore why they are unique and quirky. Some interesting side notes to the comb though. The additional pellets when fired have infinite punch through and can fire through some geometry in the game, such as walls and corpses. This is most likely a bug though. Fall of damage still remains. However, this is really cool. It has a massive ammo pool, and if you're using a fire rate build, a shotgun mutation can help. I see this is a plus though, but reloading cannot be interrupted even from exiting from a sprint. The comb has a high chance of cutting up targets since it is a slash based weapon with a high individual pellet count. This is obviously ideal for a necros desecrate build. Note, these are from the wikia by the way, which is a great second place to find information about Warframe. You can access the database at www.warframe.wikia or even download the app via Android or iOS. If you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like, sub, or comment. Have a great day Tenno.